it's time to look at Lightspeed's friendly and easy to use tools to customize your home page. In the last design tutorial, this is where we left off. We were looking at my website, we had the logo added, the fav icon, we changed the background color, we added two banners, and we made the brands visible. We need to add a little bit more. My page is really short. So let's start looking at those tools. Let's close my customer facing website and head back to the design section in the back office. We're going to leave the theme editor and we're going to enter headlines. This is the first tool that we're going to look at. Let's go ahead and add a headline. You're going to have to give that a name. Let's use headline one and select a language. Save your changes. Now it's important that after you've saved your headline that you don't forget to drag and drop your image or else you'll end up with a big empty square on the front page of your website. You can feel free to drag and drop or browse. You can also make this big headline image clickable if you'd like right on the home page. You can have that go to a custom URL, maybe some social media, brand, category, or product. I've created one headline, but I'd like to have two. I'd like to have the carousel effect on my headline images, and I want them to scroll through all by themselves. Let's go back to headlines, and let's create another one. Let's call this one headline two. Select the language, and save changes. Now I've done this on purpose. I'm using an image that is slightly smaller than the headline I previously entered. You're going to see why I'm doing this in a quick second. I'm also not going to make this image clickable, but I certainly could. Now that I've created two headline images, let's go back. If ever you want to get rid of them, you can delete. You can also batch delete over here, selecting all. And if you want to drag to reorder them, you can. Let's look at featured products and featured categories before seeing these changes on our website. Let's head over to featured products and let's select our first featured products. Now I only have two in my database, so I'm going to use these two as the example. So I've made two changes, two headlines, two featured products. Let's also add some featured categories. This is the last of Lightspeed's helpful tools in the design section that I'd like to show you. Let's add our first featured category. I'm going to add footwear, collections, and apparel, since these are my three most popular categories. Let's close that up. Now that we've used all three of these tools, let's open up my customer facing website and see what the changes look like. So now we're looking at my customer facing website and if I scroll a little bit, you can see my headline image right here and it does the carousel all by itself. I can scroll it through myself if I'd like and I'd like to point out that I have a little bit of empty space right here. The reasoning for this is because I didn't use the same dimensions for both of my headline images. You can technically use any dimension you'd like for headline images, but you should respect the ratio and the format that you're using so that you don't end up with empty space like this. There are the banners that I added in the theme settings, which are part of my particular theme. And down below here, I have my three featured categories, as well as my two featured products. Now we recommend getting your products added in batches of four so that it looks even. And as for your categories, you might be asking yourself, well, where's the picture? So the categories were pushed over from my point of sale and there's no purpose for a picture on the point of sale. So how would I get an image showing up in these featured categories? We're gonna have to close this page and get back into our back office. We're gonna leave the design section and since categories pertain to products, let's enter the product section and then visit our categories. I'm then going to open up the categories that I've selected for my featured categories and add an image. Let's start with footwear and then I'll do collections and apparel. If you scroll down on the opened up category, there's an image section just below. I'm going to drag and drop my picture.
Let's open up Collections, and let's drag and drop in the Image section an image for this category. All right. I've got three categories with three pictures, and since I uploaded that and my featured categories were already selected, all I have to do is open up my customer-facing website. So let's go take a look. Let's scroll down to get to that section on my home page, and there are my three featured categories. They now look a lot better with images within them. So you can see that with those three easy tools, I went from an empty page that I couldn't scroll to a much longer page that offers a more interesting experience. So some of you might be curious about brands. Now this button right here and this carousel right down here at the bottom of my page will showcase my 10 most popular brands and up here, only the brands that I want to have be visible. Let me click on this and show you what this page looks like. Now since I only have one brand name in my store, I only have one box and one box in my carousel. How would I add an image to make this a little bit more livelier? Let's close this page and get back into the back office. Now I already left the design section after I selected my featured categories, and now since I'm already in the product section, I'm going to head over to brands. Now just like categories, brands get carried over from your point of sale and don't have a purpose for a picture over there. So let's open up our Supra category and let's add a picture. Now that I've dragged and dropped the image, the brand is already showing up on the home page. So let me save my changes and let's just open up my customer facing website. Let's scroll down to the bottom to see if that's showing up in the carousel. Excellent. There we go. Now let's check it out in the Brands page. And there we go. So brands, just like categories, need to have images entered into them if they're being showcased on the website.